I have a really cool, quick, easy tip, trick, whatever you wanna call it for you today. And it is how to get your website to send you a text message when a form is submitted. Hey, hey, hey. I hope you are as excited about today's video as I was when I finally learned how to do this. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I know that a lot of like paid form services and stuff like this have this functionality built in already. I just wanted this functionality on any form, uh, you know, that was built out of HTML and CSS, uh, whatever on your, you know, on WordPress, on Squarespace, on whatever, on Wix. I don't care what the site was built on. I wanted to be able to just use that native form on that website and get a text notification instead of a, um, instead of an email notification, which is like the standard operating procedure, right? So it's so quick and easy. Anybody can do it. And we're going to hop right in. If you like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments and I will get right on answering them as fast as I possibly can. But this is gonna be a short video because there's literally just about nothing to this. It is so stupid simple. Here we go. So I am on my website, my website, and uh, my website design and SEO agency's website. So here's the contact form, right? Well, I originally had this form being submitted to ryan at getoptimizednow.com. Uh, that's my email, right? Well, I don't get notifications of my emails on my phone because it will just be blowing up all day long, right? So I, I definitely don't want that. Uh, so what I did here, I, I don't want to have to check my email all the time and I want to get back with people very quickly after they inquire about my services right like speed to respond is crucial so this is why this is so important and this is how i accomplished it for myself uh, i needed to put a comma here so depending on what you're using this you know this may just be a space uh you know possibly a semicolon or something like that but more more often than not it's probably just going to be a comma if you also still want it going to your email which i would highly recommend because um as I've been testing this, like there's a character limit when it sends to the text. So if you only send it to your text, you may have the end of their message cut off. So that's a, a warning for you. But for me, I put in my phone number. So it's uh, you know the area code first and then the digits of my phone number. And then since I am with Verizon, what I need to use is at vtex.com to complete this string right here. So that's my string. That's literally all I had to do. Click save, click save and done, right? <clears throat> so that is really as quick and easy as it is. And you're probably wondering like, what if we're not on Verizon, right? Well, got you covered. So Wikipedia has a very uh, detailed page on SMS gateways and here is the list. So all these major mobile carriers carriers are right here. And it looks like they even have some from maybe outside the US. So this is great. Everyone can hopefully benefit from this. And here they are. So I'm not exactly sure what the difference between SMS and MMS is. Um, I believe SMS is when you can send pictures and stuff like that. But like there's there's my code. So that is what I need to put after my phone number, phone number, at, that's my code because I'm with Verizon, and that's that. So if you're with any of these other characters, <laughs> carriers, <laughs> characters, you would use one of these codes instead. So I hope you found value in that quick tip for you. Super quick and easy, no technical knowledge needed. You need to be able to type and look at a computer screen and you can accomplish that. So I hope you like it, if you did, Please remember to like, it would really mean a lot. And <laughs> until the next video, you already know, keep making money.